So today I want to talk about the counterfeit coming before the real deal. The counterfeit, the fake, you know, something that is false becoming before the real deal. A lot of you guys are tired of being lonely, you're tired of being single, and you're like, God, I don't want to do this no more. God, I don't have time to waste. I, I get that. I I've been there. So usually, you know, you probably saying, Prophetess, how do I know if, you know, the relationship I'm in right now is a counterfeit? Well, I'm going to give you some word. All right. So number one, you know, love is not, you know, selfish. Amen. So if you're in a relationship and it's a counterfeit relationship, then re then that that relationship is counterfeit because the the person or you may have selfish love and love is not selfish according to the word of God. Amen. So what do you mean, you know, it's selfish when it's when they have this single mentality, they're not concerned with your your, your destiny, they're not concerned with your purpose, they're not concerned about your well being. All they're concerned about is themselves. Amen. So when that kind of relationship um is a counterfeit relationship, you know, they're they're selfish. You know, that means the man is pressuring you, you know, or the woman, because women, you know, they some women are like that too. You know, they may be pressuring you to sin against God and to for that uh to, to fornicate. You know, that this is the counterfeit love. You know, when somebody really loves you, that they're gonna wait for you. They're not gonna pressure you to to sin against God. Amen. When somebody really loves you, they're they're not gonna be jealous of you. See, a, a lot of people cannot walk in their call or their purpose because they you know connected with the wrong person this is the counterfeit love you you need to have someone that's going to protect you that's going to root for you they're going to make you feel like you can win they're going to make you feel like you can achieve everything that you set your hands on to do to to get it done so this is the counterfeit love you know maybe you have experienced this the counterfeit love but i want to tell you god wants to heal you god can heal your heart amen and guess what the real deal is coming because guess what every relationship that you have went through that you did it that failed and it didn't work out you learn from that you learn from those mistakes and you grow and actually you get stronger and you hold on you say okay god you know i i, I realize you know I, I can't date someone you know that's not a believer i can't date someone that's irresponsible in this uh matter of their lives you know i need to date somebody with the same goals the same aspirations that's on the same pathway as me all right so you begin to mature amen so love according to the word of god it is patient all right so let's go back to what i just said let me just reiterate what i just said about you know love is not selfish it is patient they're going to wait for you they're not going to pressure you to do something that's going to compromise your walk with god love is kind according to the scriptures love is kind amen so love is not angry it's not boastful that they're going to make you feel good in who you are they're not going to come in and try to change you if you're a size 16 they're not going to say oh you need to you know become a size three all right they're going to make you feel good about who you are some of you guys have went through so much i've been there where i had so you know i had low self-esteem i felt like the scum on the earth for just being in these counterfeit relationships but now i don't feel like that anymore all right i don't feel like you know i'm i'm lower than nothing because i i feel secure on who i am in christ and the man that god placed in my life you know he he makes me feel you know secure in me all right so a lot of women you know a lot of people you're in the wrong relationship a counterfeit relationship and you don't feel secure in your relationship you know you, you know you you're jealous and love is not jealous amen real love is not jealous you you need to be secure I've been in a relationship that was a counterfeit relationship and I, I felt sec in insecure the whole time. All right. So I just want to tell you guys this so you don't waste time and you wait on God. Amen. So uh, this is my word for the day that the counterfeit comes before the real deal. But if you keep on hoping, keep on believing, amen, and learn from your mistakes, ask God for wisdom so you can learn from your mistakes so, you know, you don't repeat history. See, some of you guys, you need to pray right now for God to break that cycle. 
break the cycle amen you can't always go by looks you can't always go by social economic statuses you can't always go by um you know what people say you got to get to know the person yourself get to know them yourself amen and ask god to show you the intents of the person's heart that you are considering um courting amen considering getting involved with because it's going to save you a lot of heartache and pain and trouble amen some of you need to pray god remove these people out of my life that don't mean me any good god remove every counterfeit because a lot of you guys you know you're single you're you know you're on the market and that's one that's one of the attractive things that people you know uh see you know this uh say man or woman of god amen you know a lot of people are attracted to that so here the enemy comes and he'll send all these counterfeit people all right but we got to lean on god and say god no god you and you know give me the the discerning of spirit so i can recognize you know the the, sh the real from the fake amen so listen hold on because your real deal is coming some of you guys are getting going to be y'all going to be so happy y'all going to thank god that you waited and that you did not settle for the counterfeit i prophesy that you will never again feel you know insecure in your own relationship that you will never be jealous in your own relationship i i, I decree and declare that you will never have a lack of trust again in your relationship you know i prophesy that you don't have to check behind you know the person that you're with you know and and you know just feel uneasy listen to me a lot of you guys if you feel uneasy in your spirit and that's a sign amen what, what is that telling you maybe it's that the, maybe that's the holy spirit telling you something ain't right you know, maybe you you know something. Some of you are getting checked right now. You know something ain't right, but you just can't put your finger on it. Pay attention to that, amen? God didn't give us, you know, unctions in our spirit for nothing. All right? So you be encouraged. And I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus for discernment upon you. I pray for strength upon you. I pray for patience upon you. And I decree and declare that in this season, you will get your real deal. All right. Bye, team.